class and welcome back to Herb's class, man. I got five more minutes of math for you. Today's a geometry day. Oh yeah, my favorite. And we're gonna talk about oh yeah, transformations. So transformations is the idea that we could take a geometric shape or figure and change it. Uh-huh. Man, let's get one up here so we can really talk about it. Oh yeah, my favorite triangles. Okay. So now there's a couple of different ways that we can change this triangle, hence transform this triangle, right? Now, one of the things that we can do with this triangle is we can take it and we can slide it or move it to another place on the graph, like this. Exactly right. So when we do that, the original picture has been transformed. And if the original picture or the original shape has been transformed or changed, so have the names of the points. Let's talk about that. Uh-huh. Now, first off, the before picture is called a pre-image. Remember pre, the prefix pre, means before. So this pre-image is the image before it was changed. Uh-huh. After it's changed, it's called the image. Before pre-image, after image. Now, the points means also change. Now, this was triangle A, B, and C based on those points A, B, and C. After the change, they're called yeah. Now that little apostrophe beside those letters means prime. It means it was changed. So this is now A prime, B prime, and C prime. Yeah. So as far as notation goes, you might see it in class, something that looks like this. Yes. Triangle ABC, that arrow means it's transformed into. Yeah. Triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Yeah. Now this move or this slide is a special name for it. It's called this, uh-huh, a translation. So whenever I take a shape or a figure or anything in geometry and I just move it to a different place, that's called a translation. But that's not the only way that we can transform a geometric shape. Let's talk about it another way. Yeah. Now, not only can an object or figure be moved, this object or figure can also be flipped, right? So it's almost like it's looking in a mirror at its... Uh-huh, reflection, that's exactly right. That's exactly what this kind of transformation is called. When we take an object and we flip it across a line or maybe across an axis, it's actually looking in the mirror. Notice how it's reversing that. This C turns into C prime here. This A, when it looks in the mirror, it sees its reflection A prime over here. Uh-huh. So when we flip a shape, that's another type of transformation called Reflection, exactly right. The before picture is still called the pre-image. The after picture is still called the image. Still has prime on the after picture. But instead of just sliding and moving it, flips. Reflex. Uh-huh. There's another type of change, too. There's another way that we can transform these shapes. Let's talk about that. Ooh. Now, at first glance, this might look like a reflection. But if you look closer... Definitely is not. This is not a mirror image. As a matter of fact, it looks like this triangle got turned a little bit. Yeah. So this is yet another way we can transform the shape. In geometry, we can turn the shape. Now, we can turn it clockwise or counterclockwise, but it's still being turned. And the official name for that is, yes, a rotation. Okay. Now, these three types of transformations all have one thing in common. Notice that the size of my shape did not change. Whether I moved that shape or I flipped that shape or I rotated this shape, the size never changed. It's always the same size before and after. Even if it was changed, it's still the same size. There's a special name for that. Rigid, yes, these are all rigid types of transformations. What that means, rigid means it doesn't change. The size does not change. Yeah, now there's one other way that we can make a change to a shape. Let's talk about that. Ooh, we haven't talked about this type of change. Yeah, notice how now my before picture is bigger than my after picture. So it looks like the size changed here and the, the triangle actually got smaller. So not only can we change where it is or how it's flipped or how it's rotated, we can also change the size too. And it doesn't have to always get smaller. It can also get bigger, uh-huh. But the official and technical name for changing the size, whether that means getting bigger or getting smaller, is called 
dilation, yeah. And now remember, since these do not change size, these are called rigid transformations. This one actually changes the size, so this one is called non-rigid, uh-huh. Now, join me for some more videos, and we'll talk about each one of these individually, and how we can put two or three of these together, uh-huh. I can't wait. Come on and talk. All right, I'm going to see you there.